welcome back everybody thank you for watching another video today we're going to be having a look at one of the classic chef knives that you can find out there this is the shun classic eight inch chef knife And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you feel like purchasing a Shun Classic 8 inch chef knife, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, let's begin by giving you guys some size references here. So here is a 12 inch ruler and again this is the classic 8 inch chef knife. We can see that the 12 inch ruler just falls inside of the overall length of the knife. And to measure from the heel to the toe, let me zoom you guys in a little bit here. Alright, so you see from heel to toe. That blade is right around 8 inches. Alright, let's have a look at the diameter of this handle here. Okay, So here it is next to a permanent marker diameter. We'll talk about the design of the handle in a second here. Uh, so is that going to be like the size of a quarter? Eh, a little bit bigger. Maybe the size of a nickel. Diameter of a nickel. And since we got the coins out, let's have a look at the spine thickness. So here it is right next to the bolster area. So that's a nickel. About the size, thickness of a nickel. And it comes down to a really fine point here. That's probably going to be like a dime. Let's see if I can push it in this way. Yeah, the point definitely thinner than a dime. But right up to the tip there, about the thickness of a dime. And just to give you a measurement height-wise of the blade, how tall it is, uh, just about inch and three quarters. All right, let's get this on the scale here. Coming in at 7.4 ounces. So you figure a roll of quarters has 40 quarters in it. That's about eight ounces, so just short of a roll of quarters. This has been my main knife in my kitchen for well over 15 years, and you can see it's well-worn. You can see all the mistakes I made when sharpening and all the dings and nicks in it. But this is the type of quality of knife you want in your kitchen if you want to have that personal connection to the food that you're preparing. I mean, it's it's kind of like when Harry Potter picked out his wand. Like, this is your lightsaber. This is your Excalibur. This is your Samurai sword in the kitchen. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm chopping mushrooms or broccoli or cutting into that first cut of a prime rib and just seeing all those juices flow. It's, it's a different experience when you use a knife like this. Let's have a look at the blade shape here. So a little bit of a belly here. So some are flatter, some have a bigger belly, but this is a Western style knife. It's pretty much set up so you can rock it and chop it. Let's have a look at the striking ripple pattern that runs through the entire knife blade on here. And this is pattern welded Damascus. And the way this works is you got 34 layers on this side and 34 layers on this side. And what they do is that they alternate stack different types of stainless so that when they're grinding it from the thick to the thin side, that pattern comes out and then they acid etch it. So one of the layers is going to accept the etch and the other one is going to repel it so that's why one side is darker than the other and that's what this beautiful pattern is now in between these softer layers of stainless we have a vg max core and that's what makes this edge right here so they take this vg max and they stick it in between those 34 layers and they forge it together now back in the day it was called vg10 but they were having issues with some counterfeiting going on in china Knife companies were saying it was VG10, and VG10 kind of got a bad name. So they made their own steel called VG Max. They messed around with the levels of chromium, molybdenum, vanadium. All you got to know is that this edge, this core of this VG Max, it keeps a really sharp edge for a long time. But if you hone it, you should never have to sharpen it unless you chip it. But if you do have to sharpen it, it's very easy to sharpen. It holds an edge for a really long time, and it's an extremely durable edge just so long as you don't try to cleaver it to something like bone, but that VG Max is a great steel. Another great benefit of having such a great durable core steel like VG Max is Shun can get the angle, the grind, at 16 degrees on each side. Most European knives are right around 22 degrees, so it's a little bit more like this than like this. So at 16 degrees, you're going to get a thinner cut and a little bit more precise cut because of the durability of that VG Max. Some other things to really pay attention to, and these are just really fine details. If you look at these edges, they're rounded over here on the spine. 
here right on the neck of the knife and here on the bolster. And this is important because when you're pinch gripping up here and your knuckle is ramming into this area, you don't want sharp edges. You want it to be very comfortable where your thumb is at or where you're pinching on here when you're chopping. So that's a really nice detail. This is ebony pack of wood. It's impregnated with resin so that it's moisture resistant and very durable. And as I pointed out earlier, this is a D-shaped handle, so it fits very comfortably in the hand if you're right or left-handed, but it's a very comfortable grip. Well, all right, guys, that's been your quick review of the Shun Classic 8-inch Chef Knife. If you're looking to make that magic in the kitchen, this is the knife for you. Remember, if you want to purchase this knife, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.